We often say that life is priceless. It's a sentiment deeply ingrained in our values, a belief that transcends cultures and generations. Yet in the real world, decisions are made every day that force us to confront the uncomfortable reality of placing a monetary value on human life. From setting healthcare budgets to determining legal settlements, we grapple with the unsettling task of quantifying the value of a life. This is not a simple calculation. It involves a myriad of factors, each more complex than the last. It is fraught with ethical complexities, economic considerations, and deeply personal values. The stakes are incredibly high. How do we weigh the worth of one life against another? Is it even possible to do so fairly? What factors should we consider? Age, health, potential future contributions to society, and can we ever truly put a price on something as profound as human existence? The question lingers, heavy and unresolved. These are not merely academic questions. They have real-world implications that affect all of us, shaping policies and personal decisions alike. The way we approach these questions can change lives. Understanding how we value life is crucial to navigating the ethical dilemmas of our time. It informs our laws, our health care, and our sense of justice. It is a conversation that demands our attention and careful consideration. We must engage with it openly and honestly. As we delve into this complex issue, we must proceed with sensitivity and a recognition of the deeply personal nature of this topic. Every life is unique, every situation different. The goal is not to arrive at a definitive answer, but rather to explore the multifaceted aspects of this challenging question, how much is life worth? The journey to understand this is as important as the answer itself. One way we approach the valuation of life is through the lens of economics. This method attempts to quantify the worth of a human life in monetary terms, which can be a controversial and complex endeavor. This perspective often focuses on two key factors, productivity and healthcare costs. By examining these elements, economists try to understand the financial impact of an individual's life on society. Economists sometimes measure a person's value based on their potential economic output. This includes their ability to work, generate income, and contribute to the economy. This includes factors like earning potential, projected taxes paid, and contributions to the GDP. These metrics help in creating a financial profile of an individual's economic value. This approach, however, can feel cold and impersonal. It often overlooks the emotional and social dimensions of human life. It reduces human beings to mere units of economic production, ignoring the richness of human experience and individuality. Another economic consideration is the cost of healthcare. This involves evaluating the financial burden of medical treatments and interventions. How much are we willing to spend to save a life or extend it by a certain amount of time? This question is central to healthcare economics. This calculation often involves weighing the cost of treatment against the potential benefits to the individual and society. It requires a delicate balance between financial constraints and ethical considerations. While economic factors provide a framework for understanding the financial implications of life and death, they are not comprehensive. They fall short of capturing the full scope of human value. The emotional, social, and psychological aspects of life are often left out of these calculations. Reducing life to dollars and cents ignores the intangible aspects of human existence, love, relationships, creativity, and the simple joy of living. These elements are priceless and cannot be quantified. Ultimately, the true value of a human life transcends economic metrics, encompassing the profound and immeasurable experiences that make life meaningful. Governments regularly face decisions that implicitly require placing a value on human life. When allocating resources for healthcare, transportation safety, or environmental regulations, policymakers must weigh the costs of these programs against the potential lives saved. One method used by governments is the value of a statistical life, VSL. This metric estimates how much individuals are willing to pay to reduce their risk of death. For example, if people are willing to pay $10 for a safety feature that reduces their risk of dying by one in a million, the VSL would be $10 million. The VSL is a controversial tool. Critics argue that it is insensitive and fails to account for the unique value of each individual. Proponents, however, argue that it provides a necessary framework for making difficult decisions about resource allocation when lives are at stake. In healthcare, decisions often revolve around not just extending life, but also improving its quality. This has led to the development of metrics like the Quality Adjusted Life Year or QALI. 
A QLI assigns a value to a year of life lived in perfect health. Years lived with illness or disability are adjusted downward on a scale of 0 to 1, with 0 representing death and 1 representing perfect health. QLIs are used to assess the cost-effectiveness of different medical treatments and interventions. While QLIs offer a way to quantify the impact of health on quality of life, they are not without limitations. Critics argue that they can discriminate against people with disabilities and fail to capture the subjective experience of living with a health condition. The attempt to quantify the value of human life inevitably leads us into a thicket of ethical dilemmas. Is it right to prioritize younger lives over older ones? Should we consider a person's socioeconomic status when making life or death decisions? These questions highlight the limitations of using purely economic or utilitarian approaches to valuing life. Human beings are not interchangeable units. Each life is unique and possesses intrinsic worth that cannot be captured by a single number. Ethics compels us to consider the inherent dignity of every human being, regardless of their age, health status, or economic productivity. It reminds us that life's value lies not solely in its quantifiable aspects but in the richness of human experience, relationships, and the pursuit of meaning. The challenge of valuing life plays out in countless real-world scenarios, each with its own complexities. In the aftermath of a natural disaster, how do we prioritize aid when resources are scarce and time is critical? When setting prices for life-saving medications, how do we balance affordability with the need to incentivize innovation and research? Consider the case of organ transplantation, a field fraught with ethical dilemmas. The demand for organs far exceeds the supply, forcing difficult decisions about who receives a life-saving transplant. Allocation policies must grapple with competing ethical principles, such as prioritizing those with the greatest need versus those with the highest likelihood of survival. These examples illustrate the complex trade-offs and ethical considerations involved in valuing life in various contexts. They underscore the need for thoughtful deliberation and a compassionate approach that recognizes the multifaceted nature of human worth. Ultimately, the question of how much life is worth may be unanswerable in purely quantitative terms. It is a profound inquiry that transcends numbers and statistics, delving into the very core of human existence. Assigning a precise monetary value to human life feels reductive and fails to capture the essence of what makes life precious. Life's worth is not something that can be measured in dollars and cents. Instead of seeking a definitive number, perhaps a more meaningful approach is to focus on valuing life in all its complexity. This means appreciating the myriad experiences, emotions, and connections that define our existence. This involves recognizing the inherent dignity of every individual, regardless of their background or circumstances, celebrating the unique contributions each person makes, whether in science, art, education, or any other field, and striving to create a society that upholds the sanctity of life in all its forms. This means advocating for human rights, fostering community, and ensuring that everyone has the opportunity to thrive. While we may never fully unravel the enigma of life's worth, the journey of exploring this question can be enlightening. The process of grappling with this question can lead us to a deeper appreciation for the precious and fragile nature of our own existence and the interconnectedness of all lives and the lives of those around us. In the end, it is this shared journey that gives life its true value. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content.